Today, I have been given a seemingly simple challenge. Build a game PC using parts from Walmart. Now, Walmart, as you will likely know, has actually sold some pretty decent gaming PCs and gaming laptops in the past. But actually, building an entire game PC, that might be a slightly more difficult challenge. So I'm gonna just start out with a processor. Okay, well, I found a Ryzen 7 3800X, and this is sold from Walmart. Sold and shipped by Walmart. I found a thing. They sell processors directly from Walmart. I mean, a 3800X is a slightly weird choice, but I mean, 340 bucks, that's, that's all reasonable. Ooh, this is gonna be tough though. Wait, can I sort out? Yeah, retail at walmart.com. Oh, wow. They literally have one CPU. I have no other choices. Everything else is sold through third party. That's gonna make this slightly more complicated. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, they have them. They sell motherboards. I mean, $270 for a B550 board is a little bit extreme, but I mean, that counts. An X570P for $127. That's actually, that's a good deal. Huh. Let me see, hang on. So for X570, which one is that? But it's still actually cheaper. It's $150 in Micro Center. Walmart's got them rollbacks. Now, where I think we're gonna have an issue, it's a graphics card. Okay, so we have a GTX 730. We have a 8400GS, 5450, Wait. a 5700. Wait, wh why? Why does Walmart sell this? I am not. Oh, don't make me use this. That's sold by. Oh, that's funny. What kind of RAM does Walmart have? They actually have several options. 3200 megahertz for 105 bucks. That's not terrible. That's not bad. I mean, there's wait, there's a single one star review. Why is there a single one star review? Paid for it, but did not get it, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh wait, wait. What about case? Do you think they're gonna have a PC case? They might. They might have like a few. Ooh, not a lot. Oh, uh, no. They have some options. They have some options. I kind of want to do this one. Okay, let's find a power supply. 65 bucks for a 750 watt EVGA power supply. They have a 600, 500. It's all EVGA. Um, and we can just get the bronze, 65 bucks. I mean, this pricing seems fine. Oh, do you want a Hyundai SSD? Excuse me, they make SSDs? Hyundai SSD. Uh, do they have Kia graphics cards? <laughs> I'm just gonna just check one thing while I'm here. We're just missing one thing for the, it's free shipping. So I'm just gonna take advantage of it. All right, you know, I just grab a few Pokemon cards while I'm here. <clears throat> all right. So technically, I have found everything that I need to build a Walmart gaming PC. The only questionable bit really is the graphics card. The rules of this video are very clear. We have to buy all of our PC components from Walmart. I think I might have a way to skirt the rules, because for as long as Walmart has our money, it shouldn't really matter. Headphones. Audio. Ooh, PC. Okay. Oh, there's a pavilion desktop here. Ryzen 5, 3500, and 1650 Super. That's actually not bad. That's not bad How at all. How much is it though? 599, I think. We actually have made that system before just with a Ryzen 3, and it was the same price. This is probably gonna be just about as good as our system that we're spending three times the price on. Okay, well, now's a good time to tell you that we came to the electronic section for nothing because we don't need anything in this section at we all. We have no graphics card. We have no graphics card, no onboard video, nothing. Come with me. I don't go to Walmart every day, but if I had to take a guess, I'm gonna say that there's not a lot of graphics cards inside Walmart, so there's probably some shenanigans going on. That seems like a very safe bet at this point. So ignoring the copyrighted music, in the front of every Walmart, they have this section of impulse buy Palooza, <laughs> including <laughs> gift cards, as far as the eye can see. And by as far as the eye can see, I mean literally here. Look, you got a lot of dumb ideas. This is up there among like the top seven. How much is a graphics card? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm walking to the back of the store. Ken's all confident about the electronics section. I see gaming PCs, I'm like, okay, I can see where this is going. We're just gonna buy a gaming PC. But no, it's somehow even more stupid. And we're buying a prepaid gift card to purchase said graphics card on walmart.com. Like I could have from the beginning. But if it's that or throwing a prepaid gift card at my system without a graphics card, I guess. 
Okay, so we have now received all of our mini, mini Walmart gaming PC components. All right, so let me refresh what we actually got. Um, oh, oh, I think I know what this is. Actually, I opened this one before. I actually know what this one is. Is it your M2? No, oh, I didn't get M2. Oh. I got a Hyundai. Oh, it's the Hyundai Drive. <laughs> now, of course, one of the most important components of any build is what's inside this box, which are my Pokemon cards. So I will be unboxing these. Wait. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 let's get all this stuff out of the way. Let me open up my Reshiram box. So uh, Walmart is the fine purveyor of many things. What, what are you doing? Are you opening Pokemon cards with me right now? Okay. Why did you put the camera on a tripod and walk away? I can't be bothered to walk oh, away. Oh, you just you giving up? Okay, fine. That's fine. Hey, 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 huh? hey, huh? hey, stop, what? stop, 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 wait, stop, wait. Stop. What? stop, what, stop. what, 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 wait, what, what, oh, oh, oh. Don't bend them, I need my PSA 10. Look, I like Pokemon cards, okay? Deal with it. I'm gonna be all defensive now, because people keep throwing the word addiction around, and I don't like that word. I prefer to think of it as a, as a, 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 a very well-fulfilled hobby. That's what addicts say. At some point, I wouldn't be surprised if he bet his car or bet the company on a couple of Gen 1 decks or boosters or whatever whatever it is that he buys. Another Pikachu, a Cottony, and oh, a full art trainer card. Look at that. That's worth like multiple dollars. Maybe like two. I don't know, but we'll sleeve that. That's actually pretty cool. I'm curious to see what this case looks like. All right. Let's see what we got. What is this? Wh why? <laughs> why should I be able to put my finger in the fan blade? I mean, I guess it's for airflow, but couldn't you put like some mesh on or something? No, too much money. I mean, I will say this tempered glass side panel is definitely half the weight of the entire case. It looks pretty standard in here, very simple. We've got enough room for a full-size board. We have direct airflow, and we do have a little bit of a basement for a power supply. Should be easy enough. This is probably not gonna make it in the video. Something interesting. So they have put the sticker on the side, right? So when you put it face down in your chassis, when you know that you're gonna hide it, that's fine. You're gonna see this, it just it's just there. However, if you're gonna be putting this power supply in facing up, what they've done is they've actually given you the nice little embossed EVGA. Whoa. So essentially, if you have a cheaper system and you're showing off the power supply, it actually looks a little bit better. So we are almost done building the Walmart gaming PC. So some of our cable management in this case is not stellar. I also don't know how we're gonna control these fans because there's no way to connect them to the motherboard, but that seems like a problem for future us. Let's install our very expensive workstation grade graphics card. More, what, <laughs> why, why, what? Okay. So what makes this different from a standard Radeon card besides the very attractive blue coloring is more so what's on the outside than on the inside because on the inside, this is a very similar GPU and setup to what you would have if you were using a standard 5700 XT. Now here you'll see something oh a little God. different. We have five mini display ports and a USB-C. So this is designed really as a card that you can connect to multiple monitors, six if you're counting, or you could also use it for things like 3D rendering and whatnot. And a lot of the differences really do come down to the software that you use to run the card. Specifically, the drivers are different. You're gonna wanna use the specific Radeon Pro drivers, which have a lot of optimizations for things like Blender and other professional grade applications. I will say our color scheme may be looking a little bit um, unusual for this. All right, let's slot this in and see how it looks. I mean, that's not going anywhere. 
All right. And so this is the completed Walmart gaming PC. So as you can see, there is RGB everywhere. We have it all around, not only the power button and all of our LEDs here, but we have two giant 200 mil fans. So inside we have our Ryzen 7 5800X, 32 gigs of RAM, the Radeon Pro graphics, as well as we have our Hyundai SSD. So to compare, we have our Micro Center mid-range special. Now this is the system that we built for the last episode of Broke vs. Pro. So this is a roughly $1,100 system. Inside we have a Core i5-9400, but importantly we also have a 3060 Ti. So while the CPU is not particularly powerful, what is, is should at least be the graphics card. Now mind you, that's a $450 graphics card compared to $700, bucks, but importantly this is actually meant for gaming. If this doesn't win, I'm going to be very surprised. Although. You know, I feel like when I was doing the test against Kyle, that was it was like 8,000 something, wasn't it? I think so. I think it was like 88 or something, and he was like 91. So just to confirm, we have our Ryzen 7 3800X, no slouch of a CPU whatsoever, and our Radeon Pro W5700 graphics. If I had to take a guess, I'm gonna say this is somewhere around 7,500. So this is similar to a 5700 XT, but there are some differences. The memory is different. And also typically, although I don't actually know for this card, but typically the pro cards don't have like these crazy game boost clocks. They're a little bit more stable because they you wanna render in Blender for 20 hours at a time or whatever. Oh, oh, that's actually a lot closer than I thought. So not only is this boosting way higher than it's supposed to, but that score, that's actually really good. Look, I'm actually pretty impressed with the Walmart gaming PC. I mean, no, it's not gonna crush your Crisis Cyberpunk 4K benchmark or anything, but it's actually completely usable as a gaming PC, and obviously it has all of the pro-level performance of a Radeon Pro card. However, I still think that once we fire up the Micro Center Special, it'll easily wipe the floor with the Walmart system. All right, and the reveal is, come on, come on. Woo, okay, all right. So Walmart was 86.90, this is 98.31. Okay, so my memory was off, this is better. All right, we're safe, we're fine. The Walmart gaming PC was a bad idea. It's really the CPU score was what was dragging it down because the graphics score was way higher. This backs up that I'm not a crazy person and that I only buy dumb things on Walmart for clickbait title. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I don't think there's any. Was there a point for this video? No, no one's gonna do this, ever. So wait, so I'm not giving like useful consumer advice on no. how, uh, oh, okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for other non-consumer advice videos like this where I tell you things not to do that you weren't gonna do in the first place.